Hello everyone, this is Wen Jie Chao, author of Plant Pro. In this video, I'm excited to introduce a fantastic new feature, landmark locations. If you enjoy shooting sun or moon alignment photos like I do, you got to watch this video tutorial. It brings the planning to a new level that no other app have done before. Let's get started. First off, tap on the menu on the top and make sure you have version 10.5 or later. It is also crucial that you have the Pro feature and Location Explore feature activated. 3D model feature is not required in this case, but is highly recommended because it makes planning much easier, especially if you're in a big city that has not all 3D models available. I just installed this version, so it has no other data except some offline animation I downloaded beforehand. That means if you just installed Planet Pro, you're brand new to this app, just follow the step in this video tutorial, you will get the same result as I got. This is the Ephemeris page. If you swipe down from the top, you will see a Ephemeris page chooser. Look for Location Explorer feature. Then the fourth feature under Location Explorer is a landmark location. That's a feature we'll talk about in this video. Let's tap on that. You are about to see some landmarks on the map. But right now it tells you to zoom in because if you zoom out too much, there will be too many landmarks to show. You can use a slider here to zoom in or out, or you can simply tap the hint here. In which case the map will zoom in automatically so that the landmark will show up as heat map as you can see here. If you continue zooming, those red spots will become separated into small spots. And each spot is a cluster of landmarks. You can simply click the message here and see the list of landmarks in New York City. Over here, we can see there are 20 landmarks sorted by popularity. On the top, you can filter by the distance to the map center all the status of landmarks. So right now, all the landmarks in this installation are public, but you may have some temporary ones if you have used the plane for a long time. You can also filter by popularity. Here, if you click the popularity 200 plus, you'll get the most popular landmarks in New York City. 100 plus, that will be second batch of the popular landmarks. Now, let's select the Statue of Liberty. Upon selection, we're presented with 20 locations. Each location are contributed by a real user. Please also note, those submissions didn't get approved right away. To ensure accuracy and prevent inclusion of incorrect locations, a submission is only approved after it has been suggested by more than five different users. On the interface, you'll notice a section indicating the target height. In this case, it will be the top of the Statue of Liberty, but in some other case, it might be in the middle of the landmark. Adjacent to this is the popularity of the landmark. Next to that is a search button that we will cover next. For now, let's tap on the 20 location to see what they are. Here are the list of camera locations that you can shoot the Statue of Liberty. Again, sorted by popularity. You can filter by the distance to the landmark, filter by the status, filter by the popularity. Let's select the first one just to take a look. You can zoom in on the map, and here you can see a pier next to Luis Villatino Junior Park. You can tap this button here to set its camera location, and the map will automatically zoom so that you can see both the camera location and the scene location, in this case, is the state of Liberty. Once both pins are set, you can start planning right away. For example, you can tap the Viewfinder button, click on the Viewfinder VR. Now the state of Liberty shows up. Uh, you can zoom in by choosing a longer telephoto lens, switch to the Sun Moon Finder page, tap this button, then you can use a finger to draw the area that you want the moon or sun to show up. You can tap here, select full moon, Boom, you got one result back. And here you go. January 14, 2025, next year. So you can have a moon right there at the torch of the set of Liberty. Very impressive, right? No, that's not even close to what I'm going to show you today. Let's go back to landmark locations. Clear the selection of the set of Liberty. Go back to the map. Then I'll zoom out so that I can see all the landmarks. And here we have 17 landmarks. Now, let's tap on this search button. Here it gives you some hint of what's gonna happen next. We're basically gonna search for the sun and moon alignment opportunities for all visible landmarks. In which case, it will be 17 landmarks that are in the visible area. And the date range is from February 4th, which is today, all the way to August 5th, which is about 6 months later. 
So also give you a warning that might take a long time because it has to do a very extensive search. For those eager to capture a moment in the near future, a handy feature allowed for a narrow search if you click this button. That will search up just a month. But for the demo purpose, I'll tap this button, which will search for six months. This part of video is five times fast forward. Here you go, 197 results. What this means is, in the next half year in New York City, based on whatever data we have so far, there are 197 alignment opportunities. Now let's tap on it. Let's look at the first one. Here is the moon. It means it's a moon alignment. Here is the date, and this is the camera location and the Hamilton Park. Uh, this is target, the landmark, Empire State Building. The distance between the two are 3.62 kilometers. The blue color means moon, and this is the elevation angle of the moon. This is the azimuth of the moon, and as well as the percentage. Orange color means sun, so the sun elevation is at negative 30, and the uh, azimuth 85. Then the eighth one had the sun as an icon. That means it's a sun alignment. Shoot from Harbor Drive to Empire State Building. And sometimes you can see it's Empire State Building, sometimes the State of Liberty. This one is shoot the age at the 30 Hudson Yards. On top, you can filter by the time of the day or the different sun moon phases. Let's say I'm only interested in the moon, and probably only the full moon and the crystal moon. And we also know that during the daytime, the moonshot is not so impressive. So I'm gonna press and hold the daytime, in which case it will select all other values. Now we have 32 results left. That means in the next six months, I have 32 alignment I can shoot. I probably can't do them all anyway. Now let's select this one and take a look. Go to VR. Here you go. Perfect alignment. That's not all. You may think this moon is slightly too low and you want it slightly higher so that it just touched the torch. You can certainly do that. You can tap this button on the bottom, then zoom in on the camera locations. Uh, you can even make the focal length longer so that you can have more details because now the viewfinder is smaller. Then you can press and hold this camera pin and just drag. Just drag it slowly because when you're dragging, you can really do position of the moon and the static loop is moving. So you can adjust that so that it's at the location you're looking for. You can adjust the time so that the moon is moving up and down. So now it's right there. Maybe you want to slide to the left a little bit. You can do that. Or even maybe all the way to the edge of the pier. Yeah, right here. Boom. That's it. Take a look. How perfect is that? And how easy is that? Right? Now, if you want to exit the search result, you can just tap this red cross on the top and it will clear the result and go back to the initial page. So sometimes you don't want alignment opportunity for an old landmark. You just want a one. That's fine. You can just tap here, select that particular landmark you're interested in. Then click the search button here. And here it will be very fast because you know, only go through one landmarks. And here you go. 14 results. The first one is the one we just saw. And let's take a look at another one. Maybe from Black Tom Island. And take a look. Yep, that's pretty good as well. Again, we can use this way to adjust locations. Maybe somewhere around here. Everyone has different understanding of the composition. So that means even this feature suggests you a location. You as a photographer still have the option to adjust so that you get the composition you want. I also want to point out, you know, New York City and some major big city has more camera locations available. But if you live in a small city or small town that doesn't have not a plan of users, you may have to submit your own camera location or even landmarks to facilitate this feature. So that in the next video, I'll talk about that. As we wrap up this video, I know many of you are eager to explore the incredible potential of the landmark locations feature for yourself. However, before we start, let's discuss how you can gain access to this powerful tool. Given its capabilities, I'm taking careful measures to make sure 
that it does not need to overcrowding at the shooting location or unwanted disclosure of sensitive spots. It is very important to remember that while tools like Plant Pro can make planning easier, they are not to be blamed for misuse. Nonetheless, I'm committed to foisting a respectful and smooth shooting experience for everyone. To access this feature, there are three key requirements. First, you must have an active subscription to either one year or five year of the Location Explorer feature. The annual fee is really a small piece of money if you consider the immense value and convenience it offers. Despite its affordability, this fee still acts as a deterrent for those who may not be fully committed. That means less people will using this feature, ensuring that this tool is used responsibly. The second thing, there is a approval process to this feature. You need to send your planned account username to email info at planfold.com or message your Instagram at planfold to apply for this feature. When you're applying, we'll ask you, please do not share the location you found use this feature publicly in any form so that the location will not be overcrowded. Of course, you can bring your friends along with you, but do not bring like 10 or 20 people at one time to that location. Currently, this feature is only available on Android platform. The development of the iOS version is underway, but it will take some additional time to complete. I'm working hard to bring the iOS version to you as soon as possible. Thank you for your support. That's it for this video. In the next video, we'll talk about more advanced topic in the landmark locations. See you next time.